All right, so we did a video on Ian Boyne and the impact of his program profile. Now, there's another program I want to talk about for a little bit, all right? All right, so the next one I want to talk about is Hill and Gully Ride. So this one came on on TBJ right before um, Profile came on. And this one is one that is actually, I would say, on par and at the same level as Profile because they kind of did the same thing, but they targeted different levels of the society. So where Profile would like speak to different pe working class people that you know got to a level of success, um, Hill and Gully Ride went into different communities and spoke to people, like the elderly, about their lives and how they um, came to live in certain areas. So um, this one was about um, Pastor Mary Collins. Uh, this was on the channel 876 cubed, cubes. <laughs> All right, so, um, so like how they would typically go, I guess you put in like a request to go on the program and then um, they would suggest, um, schedule a time and they would come into the community and come and sit with you and maybe your family members. So. Uh, one thing about this program, I want to talk about the guy who was the main narrator for the program. Um, this man, uh, Corey Robinson. So, a lot of people know his voice, but not necessarily how he looked. Uh, this guy was responsible for chronicling like a huge portion of Jamaican history because uh, the people that he would like go and sit with, the elderly, let's say, um, they have like a hundred almost like a hundred years of history that they could just like tell you about how things changed over time in certain communities, how the parish that they may be in might have changed, where they might have worked at certain parts in the world and, you know, uh, the choices that they made to get to certain positions to, you know, live in a certain place, you know, where they settled down and may have, you know, made a huge family or um, whatever decision they made to get to that point. He would come in and discuss like what they were like as a child and how they grew up, um, you know, uh, and kind of contrast that versus how things would be now. Because, you know, you being somebody that lives in the now, <laughs> seeing that, you know, people have always maybe struggled, but maybe their struggles were kind of different back then. And, you know, they came out of it and have been able to live long, fruitful lives. So you too in this way can you know see that family is important and um yeah it was a interesting program too um he passed away in 2022 though so